hello everyone welcome back to my channel so my dear friends today i am with the another passing strategy video important questions for the applied chemistry for mechanical stream so its subject code is b c h e m 102 or 202 right uh, so in this video i want to try to sort out the most important questions which will be the definite in the examination as you already know syllabus is vast for this particular subject so you cannot it is uh, not uh, possible to cover all the syllabus as already two days left now for this particular subject for the examination right so my dear friends you just cover this much content whichever i will tell you in this video so stay connected with me till end so that i will try to cover all the important questions right so module first is energy source and conversion and storage in this module you have to cover five questions let me discuss uh, construction working of uh, photovoltaic cells uh, and lithium ion battery and methanol oxygen fuel cell so among these three questions definitely they will ask one question or two uh, questions they may ask simultaneously uh, one is the construction and working of photovoltaic cells and another is lithium ion battery and methanol oxygen fuel cell so these two are most important ones so just focus on this construction and working part then production of hydrogen by electro electrolysis of water and it's uh, right out its advantages this is the second important question then determination of calorific value using bum calorimeter it is the most important super important question in this particular module that is determination of calorific value using bum calorimeter what is the calorific value definitions will be there so you should be matured about this uh, about these definitions over there first of all when you know the de uh, definition of calorific value then you can determine easily the calorific value using bum calorimeter right so these are the three questions and you have to focus on the problems on gross calorific value that is gcv and net calorific value that is ncv so simple problems are there you have to try two to two to three problems so that you will cover easily this module and applications of biodiesel if you just cover this uh, much content you will easily get uh, at least 15 marks out of 20 from this module and sometimes if they ask only theory portion so it is easy to cover 20 marks also in this particular module so module first is over six question, uh, five questions you have to cover over there then module second which is the corrosion science and engineering it is a simple part over there as uh, you may come across uh, uh, from the pu second also you you may have already concept of corrosion over there right so describe the electrochemical theory of corrosion most important question from this module second taking iron as an example so next part is what is the metallic corrosion or simply corrosion explain types of corrosions there are different types of corrosion so differential metal corrosion and water line corrosion and pitting these comes under the differential aeration sometimes they may ask you write down the types of corrosion as differential metal corrosion and differential aeration so don't be confused over there so differential aeration means you have to write down the water line corrosion and pitting corrosion right next one is the stress corrosion you have to focus on so this is the module second uh, and also you have to focus on this explain corrosion control by anodization and sacrificial anodic method it is one of the most important questions and what is galvanization or galvanizing mention its applications problems on corrosion penet uh, penetration rate that is cpr sometimes they may asking uh, videos asking these problems on this co corrosion penetration rate cpr right and what do you mean by electroplating it is most important one it, it will be in the or part what is it is importance and describe electroplating of chromium right so another one is what is electroplasting explain electroplasting of nickel so these are the uh, seven questions from the module second you have to cover from this module right so as you already know as i mentioned earlier there is a vast syllabus for chemistry it is not possible for an engineering student to cover all the portions right as there is a lot of assignment loads who are there record books you have to write already three internals are there so it is not possible for a mechanical or any branch student to cover all these portions who are there right then module three comes up that is micromolecules for engineering applications in which you have to cover some synthesis preparations like preparation synthesis and properties and commercial application uh, applications of kevlar and synthesis properties and industrial applications of polymethyl methacrylate pmma and teflon so these uh, synthesis you have to focus on or you can see that say that this is the preparation of uh, this particular polymethyl methacrylate pmma right so then what are the lubricants what are its properties and hence write down the application so lubricants part you have to focus also then classification of lubricants and methods of polymerization uh, that is condensation and free radical so this is the model third in this model third you have to cover 
five questions at least six sorry so this is the another question from this module that is synthesis properties and industrial applications of the polyvinyl polyvinyl chloride pvc and polyestrine yeah, or polystyrene uh, you can say that easily right so if uh, it is possible for you people to cover problems also so go through problems otherwise you can go through only theory portion so that it will become easy for you people to pass over there if you want to score then you have to go for problem part also right then module 4 comes up that is phase rule and analytical techniques it is the passing module also uh, we, in which you can easily cover the topics like construction and working principle of uh, potentiometric sensors and it is application in the estimation of iron so when you just cover this uh, potential matrix sensors then you have to uh, estimate the iron application of estimation of iron in this particular sensor over there then optical sensors uh, which is also called as calorimetry it is application in the estimation of the copper right so then ph sensor or glass electrode you can see that and it is application in the determination of ph of beverages so these three are the most important questions from this particular module uh, definitely they will ask uh, one or two questions simultaneously in this uh, module over here okay then definition some definitions you have to cover like what is phase degree of freedom components phase rule equation and phase diagram and also two component lead silver system which is the most important part in this particular module so this much content is enough uh, from the module fourth so this is all about one two and uh, fourth module and third module now fifth module you have to just refer your module question paper just because it is a full theoretical module over there so materials of engineering applications full theory so no numericals at all you just refer your module question paper or just refer syllabus copy so give the importance to the questions so that uh, you will cover this also so my dear friends as uh, uh, there is a lot of syllabus as i already told you so focus on the theory part no need to go for the numericals only for passing students i'm telling you if you want to score then you have to focus on numericals also so i hope this much content will definitely help you in the examination to kill this subject to conquer this subject with ease over there so hope so you will do it so do a lot of practice over there so that it will you will remember it with ease over there so thanks for watching my video